Well, there it is. That's the Sheriff of Nottingham's Castle. And, wait for it. We sure would like to stay here. <laughs> oh. Oh. Hello. It's a message from one RH to another. It's from Robin Hood. It says, Dear Rolf, <laughs> welcome to Nottingham. <gasps> if you listen carefully, you will hear my merry mates from Hemshill Hall Primary School oh, uttering their traditional greeting. Feast of a show for you today. We've got Clive Webb and the Brotherhood of Man on the show. <laughs> and also on the menu, some boiled beef and carrots. <laughs> when I was a nipper, only six months old, me mother and me father too. They didn't know what to wean me on, they were both in a dreadful stew. They thought a try, they thought a steak, or a little bit of old cock throw. Says I pop round to the old cock shop, I know what'll make me grow. Oh! <laughs> Father of a lovely pair of nippers and they're both fat boys. They're twins, you can't tell which is which, like a pair of saveloys. I had them christened in the week, and as the parson took them on his knee, says I, they both got ginger hair, I want their names to be. fair at all that lot they're guzzling away and us starving to death what do you think not fair is it no <laughs> just a minute who's that it's me wee willy winky the brother of the man are in the middle of the night over there well i just can't wait for the day to break as she's coming home and i'm feeling great for it's been so long and lonely without you Will you give me love like you did before? Will you give me love? Will you ask for more? Will it be all right to love the whole night through? It'll be all right in the middle of the night. Ha -ha.
I, I was up to the middle of the night sticking all this together. Uh, last week, remember, I made the ears. Now, I've stuck them on. I didn't quite fill in that gap there. There's a little bit of a hole left, but I've put some sticky paper over that, and that'll be all fixed up. It's getting nice and hard there. And the back piece, what I've done is I've taken a piece of chamois leather and stuck that on as a hinge there and put a couple of rivets through it. So that works like that. And now that actually fits over me. OK? Oh. All right. Now, I told you last time to make a little ball of modelling clay like that. Now I'm going to cut that straight in half. And each one of those is going to be the eye. And what we're going to do is I'm going to have sort of weird eyes like that. So I'm going to cut a little slot out of the middle there. And then take a little bit of paper, a little bit of newspaper, just wet it so it sticks on there. And I'll do that all the way around that. A little piece of newspaper, wet that, stick it on. That's just so that when you want to take it off, it comes off easily. Now, I take some of these tiny bits of brown paper that I've ripped up. And with this paper glue, just put that straight over that newspaper piece like that. And stick it down like that. You can make your own glue out of flour and water, but you need some salt in it to make sure it doesn't go bad and start ponging and smelling. But we just stick that together like that. And when you finish, I put about three layers of paper on there and we just wedge that out. That should come out quite cleanly there. there like that. Now we've got that little piece and I'm going to, with some more of that paper, I'm going to cut that down to the right size and put it over there and stick some more bits of paper around to hold that on and then about four more layers on that'll be solid. So I'll show you both those next week, okay? Now, excitement, Delaney's donkey! <laughs> now Delaney had the donkey that everyone admired Temporarily lazy and permanently tired A leg at every corner, balance in its head And the tail to wag to let you know it wanted to be fed Riley slyly said, we've won the rate of it Why not train it? So we took a rag He rubbed it, scrubbed it, oiled and embrocated it He got it to the post and when the starter dropped the flag Then it, 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 everyone in town Lined up attacking it, shopping it, smacking it They might as well have tried to push the town hall down The donkey was on it, openly defying it Winking, blinking, twisting out the place Riding, reversing it, every person in the nation And then his donkey ran the half mile race Now the muscles of the mice, never known to flinch They couldn't move the donkey, not a quarter of an inch Delaney lay exhausted, hanging round its throat With a grip just like a Scotsman on the five pound note Starter Carter, he lined up all the rest of them And when it saw him, well it was willing then It raced up, braced up, ready for the best of them They started off to cheer it, but it changed its mind again And there was Riley, pushing it, shoving it, and shushing it she started poking it, grabbing it, choking it, it came to rip the bristles and the dark The wings of conservatives, the radical superlatives, liberals told it, hurried to the place, stood there in unity, helping the community to push the ladies up the in the half mile race. The crowd began to cheer it and Rafferty the judge He came up to assist them but still it wouldn't budge And the jockey who was riding it, that's little Pat McGee Got so thoroughly disgusted that he went and had his tea Hagen, Fagan were students of psychology They swore they'd shift it with some dynamite So they bought it, brought it and then without apology The donkey gave a sneeze and blew the whole lot out of sight And there was Riley, pushing it, and all the valley crew, the police and auxiliary, the garrison, the artillery, the second in a swivel took the boat down too. They seized it, carried it, they picked it up, and it cheered it, seared it to the winning day. The bookmakers all threw aside, and they 
committed suicide. <laughs> The dandy lady told me what the heart might raise. So you can cheer, kids. That was all their own artwork that they did for Delaney's donkey. The kids in Hemshill Hall School did all those drawings. The BBC cut them out, turned them into that cartoon. That was marvellous. Congratulations. Well, now, we have a magician who really does know what his wand's worth. And that's where he should be, in Wandsworth. Prison, that is, of course. <laughs> Here he is, ladies and gentlemen, girls and boys, the amazing Clive Webb. <laughs> ah, good evening. Where are you? Where are you? Oh, you're up there. Now, I've had thousands of requests from one or two people to show you the ancient Chinese money box trick. Music, please, maestro. I shall. Tiny and very vocal, completely empty. A price of tiny money, a silver color. Into a China money worker. Ha ha! China money! Completely and utterly categorically! <laughs> this power of fear! <gasps> Gone! China money not there! <laughs> China money not there! Shiny money not there, shiny money not there either. Shiny our money changed from silver to gold. Have your own up. <laughs> now, I need an assistant from the audience to help me with this next trick. What do you say that we have one of your teachers? Miss? Bagley. Miss Bagley. Come on, give Miss Bagley a big round of applause. Thank you. <laughs> what is your first name, please? Helen. Helen, 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 I'm a magician. Can I borrow your watch, my darling? A little trick with your watch. That's, that's, that's a lovely watch. Is it, is it paid for or is it on tick? <laughs> <laughs> Helen, I am going to place your watch into this handkerchief like so. That's your watch there. And I'm going to place it then into this empty bag. I place your watch into the empty bag right in there like so, so that I can get it right down into there. Now, Helen, your watch is on. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> I place your watch on the floor. Music, please, maestro. <laughs> here is another box and what do you think's in this box here another box another box right again and what helm do you think is in this box a watch, a watch. hold your hand out my darling 